I'm Bonnie from Circle City Seeds, and today we are going to be starting some seeds. I think I'm going to start a little grow along series and show you what plants I'm starting this week. And if you have something similar, you can grow along with me or just nerd out on growing plants. Okay, so these are some of the plants that we've got going right now. These are from my germination testing, and because I have a problem and can't just throw away a plant, most of these are hibiscus, so they should be fine to make it until they can go outside, but some of them, like one's a coneflower, one's gladiolus, snapdragons, like they should be okay. I've got some more in here for germination testing. I need to take them out because they're getting icky and moldy. So if they haven't sprouted by this point, I don't think they're going to. And then up here we have some four, four pitiful plants that I pulled right before the frost that I never got around to planting. So uh, those in the back are either spiderwort or chicory. And then some random little plants. And then these guys are geraniums that I didn't get to plant. I'm pretty sure they're the red ones. These are some, I'm trying to remember what they're called. They're like Christmas flowers. That have just been kind of hanging around. And then, whoop. And then those are. If those, I think those other ones are chicory, so that means these are spiderwort seeds that need to get planted this year. And then we have our lemon tree that we had at our wedding is hanging out here. A little Meyer lemon. And then these guys down here are geraniums that were in hanging baskets that I brought in last year and they survived over the winter. And then I just put them outside and then we had early geraniums because they did fine inside to overwinter. I mean, they were inside our house. It's not like they were in the garage or the shed or something. So these plants would be going on year three and they're okay. I'll probably give them some good fertilizer when we put them outside. So that's what we've currently got growing. So I have all the seeds that I'm starting this week. I've already got a couple of my soil containers with my seed starting mix and I'm just going to get started and I'll kind of talk about the different seeds as I'm starting them. So this one is a seed that I ordered this year. It is a Thai red roselle hibiscus. It is actually the hibiscus you grow to grow tea out of. And I was trying to figure out, yeah, it's the calyxes is what you harvest for tea. And my understanding of that is kind of like the outside of the seed pod, but I will look that up more once we get these guys going. They go a half inch down and they're going to be 12 to 18 apart. Actually, I want you to soak it overnight in water or lightly with sandpaper. Practice four year rotation with cotton and okra. Okay. That's just to speed the germination. You can soak them. And it looks like for the soil temperature, it's 75 to 85. So these are some seeds that'll go in my heat mat. Holy cow. These are a bit bigger than my other hibiscus seeds. Jeez Louise. Okay, so let me figure out. I will probably 
Just start a few of those. We'll start with six. Starting from here. So my seed starting mix is, um, I think it's mostly a cocoa core or a peat moss. I think it's cocoa core for this. This is the, the little soil block that you get from Burpee. I usually just go to Menards when they're having their 15% off whatever will fit in a bag. And I put a few of those in that bag. So it's something like two or three bucks for each one of those bricks. And then you get 15% off. And then you, it's like a compressed brick. And then I usually do my oil some water and pour it over over it so that way it gets both moistened and I do my little sterilizing my soil for my seed starting mix at the same time okay open those back up yeah I have some rose mallow hibiscus in the yard that do great but you can't they're not the kind that you make tea from. So I figured I would try that. This rose. You wanna make sure you label your plants. So there is time. And I keep track of when I start the plants in a little spreadsheet. So the label, I just have the plant name. Oh, these guys are Echo Blue Lysianthus. I got these last year from Swallowtail Garden Seeds, which is where I've gotten a lot of my geraniums from. And if you haven't seen Lysianthus, they're pretty cool. They're kind of like a, they're almost like a rose. And these ones are blue, it's like a light, like cornflower blue. Um, I didn't get any to successfully grow last year. Barely covered. Needs light and warmth to germinate. Great. Those will go great with the hibiscus thing. And the seeds actually come in this little package. I'm pretty sure these have a seed coating on them to make them easier to plant. Some seeds will come like that. I've seen carrot seeds like that. I think I have what radishes. I've got some other pell pelleted. They're called pelleted seeds. I like to do two in a cell pack. Take it. Oh god, that one rolled away. I'll have to go look for that. Yeah, I like to do two in a cell pack. To save space, then I will up pot my plants like crazy. Okay. And this one says, press in, barely cover. So press them in to make sure they're making good contact with the seed starting mix. Do that. This is blue. 
So I'll get out a blue label. M-I-S-L-A-N-T-H-U-S. And I love these little colored labels because it makes it easy to kind of color coordinate things. This is another pelleted seed. This is a begonia. And I think I got these to germinate. But by the time I was transplanting plants out, I didn't have any left. Okay, but these are, they are coral salmon begonias. And they're from the swallowtail seeds too. And these also say 80 degree Fahrenheit for germination and press into soil, do not cover. So these ones do not cover at all. The other ones were lightly covered. I tend to go for like the orange or coral flowers. Don't really know why. Like teal is by far my favorite color. I don't really know why I keep getting the orange and coral. Coral is probably maybe my second favorite. But it may just be that I like it with the against the green foliage. Yeah, I'm gonna press them down, but we're not gonna cover them up. Itty bitty pelleted seeds. That one kind of got inverted. Let me turn that. That one got stuck to my thing. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that needs a heat vent. Don't think the celery does. It's a really old packet. This one. It's 65 to 75. That might be okay. It's 70 to 75. Those I need to stratify. Dude, artichokes next. I got some artichokes from MI Gardener this year. I've never grown artichokes, but I wanted to get some mostly because the flowers are really cool and the bees love them. Oh, holy cow! Those are some big seeds. Oh, wow. Oh, and there's another weird random seed in there, I think. What is that? These guys, half inch deep. Apparently they're perennial in zone seven to 10. So do, I don't think I want six of them, but I might want more than three. Let's so just start with three, Let's see if they germinate. If they don't, then I'll start some more later. And we just may have later Lumen artichokes. Another seed is so weird. I might have to plant that in a separate thing. Let's see if it's even. Like, I don't think it's a rock. I don't think it's a bug. It might be poop. Maybe it's bug poop. Okay. Uh, 
Spell King B. I am horrible at spelling, so I have to look at the C packets. Okay. Celery, I think, is also just on the surface. No, we're an inch deep. We'll do six of these. I used to use scotch tape to seal up all these packets. It's been okay, but then I switched to doing washi tape, and it's so much better because it sticks and you can restick it. These are tight. And then these are from 2021, so I'm not sure how many will get to germinate. And they are so incredibly tiny. So since these are so freaking tiny, I'm just going to sprinkle some in there. There's three in there. There's three in there. There's three in there. get more celery then I get more celery. It'll be okay. I think I had about six celery. Like the plants look really good. I need to do better about learning how to do the, I think it's called blanching them. This is the Utah celery. And it's not a self blanching variety. And this is just some leftover washi tape that I had from some packet. So I've been meaning to like make and design my own little washi tape to have, you know, like sunflowers or bees or something. So these are just kind of lightly in there. Just kind of ruffle them up a little bit. And this seed starting mix isn't really as wet as I would like it, but I'm going to get the seeds in there and then I'll put them in a tray and bottom water them so then they'll be all good. They'll be happy little plant babies. I think on my tag last year I wrote Utah for some reason. And then these are eucalyptus seeds I got from Johnny's. This actually says direct seeding is not recommended, which you don't see very often. It says there's like 50 seeds in here, but it feels kind of empty. There's like a little bit of lumps, so we're about to find out. It doesn't say how deep the seeds are, so I had to look it up on their website. And it still didn't quite say, it just says cover seeds lightly at the time of sowing. So I'm assuming that's kind of like a barely cover kind of situation. I don't even know what the seeds look like. They could be teeny tiny like snapdragon seeds or something. Oh, we are in one of these things. Okay, they're not too crazy tiny. Kind of about the size of lavender seeds. seats lightly. So, that's one or two. Oops. One, one, two. Keep it stuck into my nail.
And then to barely cover them, I'm just going to lightly mix up the top like quarter inch of the soil here. Let's see how that turns out. And then these guys I have to stratify. Unless I already did some, which I don't think I did. But, so I'll do that in a bit. Let me set the light to the side. We're gonna pick out which onions we're gonna do. Which are some of my favorite vegetables to grow. Not only do we love growing onions around here, or <laughs> we love eating onions around here, um, but they're they're pretty easy. I highly recommend either starting from seeds or buying. Um, I'm trying to remember what they're called. I don't think they're called sets. The ones where they're like a little plant with like green attached, and not the like de like the dry little bulbs. Those ones tend to go direct to seed because they they think they're in their second year and onions are biannual plants. So the first year they'll bulb up and the second year they'll go to seed. So sometimes when they're that little like dried up bulb that you plant, they try to go to seed instead of getting real big. And still use them for green onions. Okay, which one of these? That one had a little less. So these are yellow onions that are like huge. And I accidentally bought a second pack. So we're gonna be doing those. We're gonna do blush onions, which are, you know, they're, they're a little pink. These ones are like winter sewing ones. So we're not gonna do those. And I still have a little. I still have a little blush from before. So we'll do those ones first. So these two are two different reds. Uh, is that? That's a weird little onion. Not sure if that one's even the right zone. It's an onion. Oh, still got Walla Wallas. Those are always good. Which one of these? Is it the other one? I had some green onions last year that did not sprout at all like the seeds were finally not good and i had to redo them i don't remember what they are we're gonna start off with these ones these ones are from 2020 so like they're not that old and these are 21 so we'll use up our old ones first and then gosh i don't want let's see we already got two yellows a blush There'll be a green onion that'll go in the green stock. Gosh. Not sure if I have like a favorite between these guys. They're technically short day onions, but Luke was growing them in Michigan. So I don't know. These ones are long day. This doesn't say. Okay, which ones are these? So from 23. These are from 21. So we'll use up our old seeds first. So I'll start with those. And then for the onions, I like to grow them in these big old. Make sure you'll be able to see them from the top. I used to have some other little containers. But yeah, just kind of big, wide shallow containers these are from bootstrap farmer so are my six packs but they're just they're nice for growing onions because they don't need a whole lot of room for the roots they don't really get root bound root bound 
they're they're tough plants i love onions you can they're easy to transplant like they usually don't die when you transplant them their roots are so like wiry and tough it's great so i usually do them in these guys i think last year i started 30 of each Let's see that would put me with 30 60 90 120 these I'll probably just still do 30 especially if some of those are those giant onions that should be fine so, yeah these are the blush ones I originally got them from burpee but I've seen them a few other places now and then yeah so the onions go doesn't say that also doesn't say Johnny's probably doesn't say quarter inch deep so gosh what I've done in the past is I've left like a quarter inch in the container and then just sprinkled some more on top. Uh -huh. maybe this might finish off the whole pack oh it's dirt one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, Yeah, I think onion seeds are the first seeds that I've actually had that I've planted some and then just none of them sprouted. So most seeds, you don't have to get rid of your seeds every year. Most seeds are good for quite a few years. Um, but onions and carrots are supposed to be one of the shorter they don't last as long like I've heard you know like two or three years but they're both biannual plants so that would kind of stink if that's true so if they last two years and it takes you two years to get to the seed it seems kind of counterintuitive there well, let's see these ones are the blush onions. So of course they go in the pink container and get a pink tag. Obviously. Ooh. Purple will be a red one. What do we pick for red? What's this one? Dirt or seed. Onions are great. 
have to just kind of stick them anywhere. I'll even, I'll go out and I'll have like little rows of onions and then I'll stick extra ones in kind of little gallon size-ish containers and they'll grow there too. to be careful about not getting any seeds I might put back in the pocket wet again. You could certainly fit more than 30 in these containers, you can pack onions in pretty tight. These ones are red onions, so we'll get a red tag. It's all. A weird name. Yeah, long one. W E T H E R S F I E L D. container. Yeah, I'm hoping for next year for grow along to maybe have um, maybe some seeds available to purchase so that we're all growing the same same seeds. Be a fun little thing to do. And then I'm also hoping that once I hit a thousand subscribers here, we can maybe do this as a live event. Just pick a day and do it live and answer gardening questions and whatnot. And while we're doing this. And then, of course, it'd be available to watch later, too. give mine like a little bit of space but they can grow pretty much right on top of each other like they're pretty decent or at least as you know little starts when they're when you transplant them out you want them like three inches or so apart kind of depending on how big they are the green onions can go almost right on top of each other i usually just like to divide mine up like to have you know like two or three or a whole layer on the green stock for green onions I just kind of divide up how many I have and put them in there. And just kind of space them out evenly. But these, when I'm putting them out in the garden, I usually try to do about three inches apart from like center. But for those, those big grande ones, I might do them a little bit bigger. Oh, no! 
that I'm just right. So, I mean, the green onions obviously have to go in the green container. Obviously. Okay, so we'll try these. They're from 2020. So I think they'll still be good. If not, I mean, they're green onions. So if they don't, if they have a low germination rate or none of them sprout, they're green onions. So I have to start another batch with that other packet in a couple weeks. That will be okay. Jeez, if I can even get the packet open. There's still a bunch in there, too. Depending on how big these frig onions get, those will either be our storage onions or we may chop them up to make dehydrated onion stuff. And then we are actually in the process of moving so next week for this the setup will probably look a little different and then I get to plan a whole new garden from scratch but I also get to move raised garden beds so both exciting and exhausting at the same time but we'll see how it goes The onions are pretty tough little suckers. These ones I accidentally ordered two different packets of. I ordered some seeds Thanksgiving weekend. The Black Friday sales kind of stuff. And I ordered some more after New Year's. So I got two sets of these. So we're going to use the smaller packet first. didn't get real big this year so I didn't yeah I think all the ones we had this year were about like golf ball size so I didn't I'm sure there's still some out there but I didn't intentionally leave any in the ground to save seeds from the only ones I've ever saved seeds from were from my mom brought us a red onion that sprouted in her kitchen so I planted that knowing it wouldn't, you know, it's not going to grow another onion. It's going to go straight to seed. And I planted that in my yard in a little, I think I stuck it in with a tomato pot. And it never, or it went to seed and I collected the seeds. But I'm pretty sure, I have to look it up. I'm not sure if the onion can like self-pollinate or... Like, it's a little cluster of flowers, so I don't know if it kind of pollinates itself with the other little flowers in that cluster, or if it needs an actual other onion plant to pollinate. But yeah, these guys will actually stay in these containers until I'm ready to plant them. Yeah. A-I-L-S-A-C-R-A-R-A-T. And that is, I think, 
all that we're starting tonight. I'm going to get these guys stratified into little bags. I'm going to check on these guys separately. So I'll get these guys going and I'll get them in a little flat and bottom water them. And then I will see y'all next week. So in the meantime, happy seed saving, happy gardening. And I will see you next week for week two of our little grow along.